Hi guys, welcome back to this video. Today I want to cover some time management tips for nursing school. Um, if you are like the majority of students, time management can be very, very hard to learn in nursing school. It can be something a lot of people struggle with, so I want to give you guys a couple little pointers to help you out. But before we get started, you guys need to know that this video is sponsored by Picmonic. Picmonic is hands down an amazing resource for nursing school and to prepare you for the NCLEX. They have an app, they have a website, they just came out with their nursing cheat sheets book and they help you prepare for the NCLEX and nursing school by creating unforgettable nursing stories with funny characters um, to help you retain and learn information. If you're like me, you can remember information a lot better if it comes in like a creative, funny story or matter, but like if something is just boring and dull and black and white, like it just, it doesn't stick. So um, they make information and learning fun by creating these funny nursing stories. For example, if you're learning about strokes, they will tell you a story using meaningful, unforgettable characters that help that information stick in your head. So um, make sure you check out Picmonic. I will leave them linked down below. You can get two weeks free if you use my link. And so many of you guys use them. So, so many of you guys use them and love them because I get messages all the time about how you did well on your NCLEX because of Picmonic, how you aced your exam because of Picmonic. So they are a great resource to use in addition to what you're already learning in nursing school because that's all that's on there is stuff you're already learning in nursing school. So make sure you check them out. But now let's talk about some time management tips. Okay, so little backstory. I have always been a very like proactivated, proactivated? I was gonna say motivated and proactive. Proactive and motivated person. In nursing school, like, I was just super type A about making sure things were done. So I feel like I'm like the time management guru to give you guys information on what I did that helped me um, to hopefully help you. So some things I did is at the beginning of the semester, I literally got all of my classes, like the syllab syllabus, syllabi, I don't, I don't know what you say when it's plural, um, I, but I got the whole semester's worth of when tests were gonna be due, when assignments were gonna be due, um, and all of that. And I literally would write everything down in my planner. So that's my number one tip is get a planner, whether it's on your phone, whether it's something you, something you physically write, but write down every single assignment, every single clinical time, every single test date, so that way you don't forget anything. You literally can't because it's written down in black and white. The last thing you wanna do is forget an assignment because you just, literally just didn't know about it. So this eliminates that. It helps you manage your time because you will not forget when things are going to be due. So write everything down. My next time saving tip is to use a resource like Picmonic to help you study for your nursing school content and for the NCLEX because Picmonic literally does everything for you guys. You don't have to think about creating exam content, NCLEX questions. They already have everything on there for you so you don't even have to be creative and think of it yourself. So um, use a resource like Picmonic to help you study because it will save you time in the long run not having to come up with like, okay, I made all these NCLEX questions or I had to make all these flashcards. Like it's literally going to do all of that for you. So uh, make sure you check out Picmonic. Again, I have them linked in my description box below. My next time management tip is make sure you are setting aside time for studying or working on projects or whatever it is. So literally, like, just like you'd write down your assignments that are due in your planner, write down, okay, from three to five today, I plan on working on my written assignment. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna have a chunk of time between five and seven, and I'm gonna work on my PowerPoint. So that way you have already set aside that time to help motivate you to do what you need to do. Um, the next thing is like really utilize your time in between classes to get things done. Every single moment I was in nursing school, I was trying to get stuff done. So that way when I got home, I didn't have as much stuff. So like if I had my first class and I had a two hour break in between classes, I would just work on assignments or I would work on studying. So that's two hours of my time that I already like had to be at school that I got stuff done versus just hanging out, not doing anything and then getting home and having to do all of this work. So use your little breaks, even if it's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, you can get so much done to take another thing off of your plate. My next tip is to make checklists so that way you can stay motivated to get stuff done. I live off of checklists. Even today, I make checklists 
basically almost every day to try and get things accomplished. And now it's not so much nursing school related, but my checklists are like, I gotta get laundry done, I need to go to the grocery store, I need to record this video, and then I check it off as I go. And it helps stay motivated when you can physically see something getting checked off. Um, but do this for nursing school. So if you're like, okay, I'm gonna study for an hour, write that down. I'm going to work on my paper today, write that down. Um, I have clinicals from this time to this time, write that down. It just makes you feel satisfied and motivated when you're like actually seeing yourself check things off and it gets it out of your brain. So that way you're not just like running through all of these things that you constantly have to do and then you kind of get jumbled and you can't remember them. If it's physically written down on paper or on your phone, you can see it and check it off as you go. My next time management tip is to set timers when you are studying or when you're do working on something so that way you can really stay motivated in that short time. So instead of like allotting a six hour time block for you to study, be like, okay, I'm gonna study for 30 minutes and I'm gonna set a timer and I'm gonna put my phone to the side so I'm not getting distracted and I'm gonna really study for those 30 minutes in a meaningful way and then I'm gonna give myself a 15 minute break and I'm gonna come back and study for 30 more minutes and set timers for that so that way you're held accountable and you can make the most of your time because if you set aside like a six hour time block, like realistically you're gonna be on Instagram, or you're gonna be on TikTok, you're gonna like get distracted and your study time is just not as meaningful. I would rather like cram pack and really have a meaningful study period that's shorter than have a longer study period that's just not as like proactive, if that makes sense. My last time management tip, this is kind of a creative tip, but it's to keep reviewing old information that you're learning in nursing school. And you're probably like, how is this a time management tip? But hear me out. If you can come back to information that you've already learned in nursing school, it's going to save you time in the long run because you're not gonna to have to like get to the end where you're trying to study for a final and be like, oh my gosh, I haven't studied any of this information for the last four months. If you can continuously study little bits as you go of things that you've already learned for previous exams, then you're gonna set yourself up for better success for the final, but you're also going to save time because you are not like trying to cram everything in last minute. So um, it may seem tedious, it may seem like, oh my gosh, I already learned this information, why am I having to go back and like revisit it? Well, that's because you're gonna forget it. If you don't like study it and you just let it go for four months, you're gonna struggle a little bit more and it's gonna take up more time to study in the end when you could have just done like a little 10 minutes here and there all throughout your semester. The last thing I wanna leave you guys with is nursing school is meant to be busy. It's, you're meant to juggle a lot of things all at once and nursing school is meant to be challenging and make you feel like you just have so many things on your plate and that's because when you become a nurse you're going to utilize these time management skills that you've been practicing in nursing school but now for patient care and patient management and some people don't necessarily see that it's not just about like yes nursing school is overwhelming and it's challenging and you're doing all these things but that's preparing you for when you are juggling a patient that's about to code a patient that needs intubated a patient that needs an iv a patient that needs labs drawn meds past like you're going to be trying to prioritize and do all of these different things all at once and nursing school is slowly trying to prepare you to manage your time and that's why they put a lot of things on your plate so um, embrace the suck so to speak embrace the challenge and just know that it's actually making you a better nurse um, and preparing you for being a nurse which is ultimately why we're going to nursing school so I hope this information was helpful for you all um, if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you check out Picmonic in the description box below. And I will see you in my next video.